Active Presenter 8 allows you to use hotkeys, to manipulate the playhead, and markers. This helps to speed up your work, while editing your video or project. We'll explore, using built-in hotkeys and assigned ones, throughout this video. Basically, you can go to the Preferences dialog to assign hotkeys for any commands. However, there are several built-in hotkeys, that help to control the playhead and markers, and cannot be changed. Let's say your playhead stands at any timestamp, and now, you want to move it to the beginning of the timeline. Just press home on the keyboard, to achieve your desire. Meanwhile, you can hit the end key, to move the playhead to the end of the timeline. As you already know, you can click this button, to play, or pause the timeline. Alternatively, press down spacebar, to get the same result. Hold down control while scrolling the mouse wheel up, or down, to zoom in, or zoom out the timeline, respectively. The left arrow keyboard shortcut, lets you move the playhead to the left, in case no object is selected. Each time you press left arrow, the playhead moves to the left, and decreases by 20 units. Otherwise, if any object is selected, its start time will move to the left 20 units. These shortcuts lead you to the same result as above, but faster than 10 times. For example, the playhead is placed at the 5th second. When holding down control and pressing left arrow, it moves to the left, and decreases by 200 units. This works the same way as the selected objects. Another handy shortcut is right arrow. It helps to move the playhead to the right, by 20 units, if no object is selected. Otherwise, the selected objects will be moved to the right, and the start time changed 20 units. With the control key, the accelerator is 10 times faster. Hitting control right arrow, moves the playhead by 200 units. If you select any object, its start time will be later than 200 units. Let's see the selected range. The playhead and two markers, stand at different positions now. Just press down square brackets to move the playhead to the start marker, or the end one, of the selected range quickly. Go against the above hotkeys, hold down shift and square brackets, to set the start marker, and the end one, of the selected range at the playhead position. If there is no selected object, press down shift left arrow to move the start point of the range to the left by 20 units. By doing so, the duration of the selected range increases. By contrast, if an object is selected like this, shift left arrow will reduce the duration of the selected object. Hitting these keyboard shortcuts, shows you the same result as above, but 10 times faster. and the selected object works the same. Let's see. If there is no selected object, press shift right arrow, to move the end point of the range to the right, by 20 units. Also, this increases the duration of the selected range. If an object is selected, these hotkeys will increase the selected object's duration.
you can achieve the same result as above but 10 times faster, when using these shortcuts. Each time press these commands, the selected object's duration increases by 200 units. Next, let's walk through some assigned shortcuts in this part. In the Preferences pop-up dialog, navigate to the Hotkeys tab, and look for the Timeline node. As you can see here, we assigned hotkeys for record narration, and the cut, copy, delete, crop commands. For more detail, you can refer to the video how to record narration, and, basic audio and video editing tools, on the screen. It's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.